So here we've got the output of a Nissan Altima running HID system for the past few years. Likely what's going on is the projector is a little bit burned up. One of the bulbs are really tired, but either way, we're gonna start with new bulbs, new projectors, and we'll show you how this all comes together. But it might be hard to tell on camera, but that's pretty dim. We're gonna see if we can boost that up. So here we've got the original, what we call the Black Series projector. That Black Series is used in Altima, Maxima, Civic, and perhaps some other applications. So OEM headlight, it's been using the HID system for about four years. We'll peek inside and see if we see anything funny and update you if we do. Okay, and it looks like my suspicions were correct. We got a fully burnt out projector bowl. You can see it's lost all the chrome reflectivity in the upper half of the bowl. And that is what creates the hot spot. Could be a combination of things, but some projectors just don't do well with HID systems. The back looks okay. If you guys follow us, you might have seen some ZKW projector conversions and that pretty much just turns, it just burns right through. And these brown spots in the back really aren't an indication of an issue. We've seen these on a lot of the uh, similar type of projectors. But the only way you're gonna find out is if you have a special camera or you take it apart to do a conversion. But that's why the performance is suffering and you will not have that issue on a full size unit using a quality bulb at least not that we see anymore. So things are gonna change for this Ultima and we'll keep you updated. All right, so this is that burned up projector. It's really not coming through on the video that well, but it almost has a brownish output. It's because there's no chrome left over there. So the light is just not emitting the projector properly. And clearly the bulbs are probably tired, but the projector is so far gone that it's pretty much just handicapped at this point. If you've been following us, that's a very, very, very weak number at 60 lux. That's literally a halogen, let's say Toyota fog light. So it's at a very dangerous level. And we'll show you what the BRT looks like with the Ostram CBN bulbs. And I just said it's not gonna be a fair comparison, but I guess that's the point. So BRT is sort of our go-to. You can see the camera's even adjusting because it's so bright. And we've got over 700 lux with the Osram bulbs. <laughs> so it's gonna be about 10 times brighter than uh, what the customer had. We'll show you how this looks all together once, uh, once we set it up. All right, so we got the stock Nissan Altima projector right here, halogen H11. And we've got the retrofitted G5 BRT by Xenon on the right, along with the brackets that we sell for this model. So just keep in mind, proper spacing would be spacing the projector upward. Make sure your alignment's good. The brackets do take care of the alignment, but you should still verify that on the vehicle in case you need a small tweak. We're using the Ostram CBN bulbs, but you can use any D2S bulb. Actually, the BRT accepts uh, all different kinds of bulbs, but in this case, we're gonna be using the D2S. So the projector has a larger lens than the original one, but once it's in the housing, you're not really gonna be able to tell. You do have that coated lens, so it's got the bluish, purplish coating to it. And you can see the G5 BRT much clearer lens than the original one. So we'll keep you updated show you how it all comes together in a little bit. All right, so the Altima is all wrapped up now. Again, we've retrofitted that G5 BRT by Xenon, Ostram CBN bulbs. Customer had some LED fog lights installed. We also cleaned up the lenses. They had a lot of haze up top. I mean, it's a lot better. It's not perfect, but at least the clarity is better for the performance. And I'll show you how this looks with the shop lights off. So yeah, honestly, night and day difference, literally. I didn't even see the lights on the, on the wall back there with the warehouse lights on. Uh, prior to the conversion, it was very unsafe. As you saw earlier in the video, the output was pretty much as bright as a fog light. So now you got a really defined cutoff line a lot of performance we showed you before we didn't do the standard lux reading that we do from about 25 feet 
just due to the way that things lined up, but I think we gained about 10 times for the performance, which is unbelievable. Not only that, it's a bi-xenon projector. So you've got your factory high beams, halogen high beams, those could be upgraded. And you've also got the, the new bi-xenon function on the projector. The bi-xenon is instantaneous, instantaneous. So it's really, really nice, super bright, super effective. I mean, this setup is for the win. So check out the link below for those black series brackets. You can fit a G5 in there or a D2S 5.0 or maybe an LED projector as well. We didn't even test the fitment, but I bet it's possible. Prior to this, a lot of people were just installing H1s, so huge step up in performance. We look forward to your comments, and if you think you might be suffering from a burden bowl issue, reach out to us. We'll give you a recommendation. Thanks again.